my name is Zara and I am the president of the University of Westminster Students' Union. Um, and what that really means is I represent um, our 23,000 students at lots of governance levels, but also I'm elected by students, so, yeah. I'm Peter Bonfield and I'm the Vice Chancellor and President of the University of Westminster, which means I, I'm, I'm the lead executive and I'm responsible for running our amazing university. So the theme of this year's prospectus is it all starts here. Uh, where did it all start here for you? Well, it formally started here at Westminster for me on the 1st of May 2018 when I turned up 7.30 in the morning on my Brompton bicycle to Regent Street for my first day at Westminster, our amazing university. And uh, I arrived oh, just so excited and full of sort of energy and curiosity about our university and becoming part of it. So anyway, where did it all start for you here at so Westminster? It, it would have started at an open day around January of 2018. But officially, I think officially I started in September in move-in weekend when I moved into Harrow. And shout out to Harrow team because <laughs> they're amazing. I moved into halls and made loads of friends and it was really nice. So Zara, what was your first impression of the University of <laughs> Westminster? I thought, um, this is in central London, this is a little bit scary, but my first impression was, okay, this is not one of those institutions where I have to pretend to be someone that I'm not. It's somewhere I can actually really fit in well and also get involved with a lot of things um, without having that pressure. And I think that was really important for me to be authentic to myself in a space that also allowed me to do that and gave me the space to do that. So I think that was my first kind of preamble uh, impression of it. And um, the people I met were really nice. So mm. what about yourself? What was your first impression? So my first impressions were awesome location, amazing history and purpose, and a community, a diverse community of people, students and colleagues that I'd searched all my life to belong to. So it was just that. Why do you love what you do, <laughs> Peter? <laughs> It's just being immersed in the incredible creativity, the stories, the progression, the progress, the individual growth mm. and opportunity that I see developing in people across our institution in our uniquely Westminster way, based on the, f you know, on sound principles of ethics, social justice, equality and inclusion, sustainable development, doing the right thing, doing it in a place where there are so many different lived experiences, yet when you come into our community you can feel safe to be who you are, whoever you are. You can bring your whole mm. self here and feel safe to be so. So what about you? I think the thing that I love the most is spending time with students and being immersed in the community that I, I loved when I was here studying and making sure that everyone has got that same experience or you know, their own community experiences that yeah. make them want to stay. So for you Zara, why are diversity, inclusivity and community so important for us here at Westminster? Oh, many, many reasons. Yeah. Um, so for me, I think it's really important to know that and acknowledge that as a person of colour, coming to university is really difficult um, and also being first generation, all the other things that come with it, um, is it's a really interesting and difficult space for a lot of students and a lot of our students as well. But I feel like the reason why we have such an emphasis on it at Westminster is because we acknowledge that and because we know that actually we want to create spaces for lifelong education and learning and spaces for students to feel like they're comfortable in their environment. There's a lot of work we do around decolonizing education and um, our equality, diversity and inclusion stuff uh, within our committees and colleague networks. And we really embrace that. And I think that's why it's really important because actually everyone partakes in the, the challenging of status quo, but also the like, learning process. And I think that's really important. Um, what about yourself? Well, so, I mean, one of our great strengths and differentiators is our diversity in our student community and in our colleague community. That is what's drawn me to Westminster. That is the thing I love most about Westminster. Mm. So what's really, really important is for all of our students and all of our colleagues and all of our alumni and partners and other people that get engaged with us is all of them need to feel safe. Yeah. 
they need to feel they belong. They need to feel part of our community, which means they can bring their whole self to study here or to work here. They don't have to leave any of themselves behind. They're valued for their whole selves and invested in, which means it's a really safe place to be whoever you are, mm. knowing that we'll support and nurture your strengths and dreams and help overcome uncertainties and things mm. that might um, inhibit your future life. So diversity is um, a measure of difference, if you like, isn't mm. it? And that is who we are, what we live and breathe, how we're constituted. And by being inclusive and compassionate, having it feeling safe so people feel safe and belong in our community, mm. that's the essence of how we thrive together. So what advice would you have to people who are thinking about the best university for them? First thing, if you're able to, if you're able to, go and visit the place that you want to study because actually it gives you an essence of what it feels like to be in that environment, whether you feel comfortable here, because a lot of the time you get the advice from like your careers advisor at school um, and often they have a perception of what education looks like, um, but that might not be what works for you. Contact the Students' Union as well because we have um, like great advice that we can give you on all of that stuff but also we can give you some context of what's available because um, you know education is not just the studying, studying is really important don't get me wrong but it's also the extracurriculars and all the events that we host in collaboration with the university as well so yeah my, my number one piece of advice was go and visit the space and speak to people because that's the only way you'll know what it truly feels like yeah every university has its own personality yeah. It has its own values and characteristics. It has its own sort of family feel. And actually the most important decision is it's about your instinct. Does it feel a place where you'd be at your happiest? And, and a key part of the decision making should be choose the university where you feel you're going to belong the most, you're going to feel the most safe, and you're going to feel at your happiest. And the people that can tell you most about that are the students. Mm or student union, but also the students that are open days. They're the ones to speak to and say, um, you know, what's it feel like to study at Westminster? Mm. You know, tell me, it's like feel type words. So there's the educational approach yeah. that's important. The most important thing is how does a personality fit you? And your parents, your carers, other advisors can't tell you that, you will feel that. And the third thing is what extracurricular activities are that you could engage in mm. that would enrich your university experience. At the University of Westminster, we have a strong emphasis on practical learning. Why is that important? You're taught the theory, then you have to learn how to apply it in practice. Because at the end of the day, that's how you get a job. Mm. That's the thing that makes you stand out from the crowd for employers or enables you to set up your own business. Also, of course, it's brilliant to get stuck into practical things. It's fulfilling, it's like interesting, it makes the whole learning experience vibrant and so it's a really positive thing. What about that, what do you think? Um, I think it was one of the things that drew me to Westminster because learning isn't linear and I think it's really important to understand that everyone learns in a really different way but actually the most effective way is to put things into practice like you said and also um, be immersed in learning, not just like, it's like a thing that you do secondary to, yeah. to everything else, right? So, um, for example, in creative writing, um, in my course, we went out on field trips a lot of the time. Yeah. We, got in, we went to art galleries and sat there and write, like, right in front of art. Um, and that was the best experience I've ever had actually yeah. learning. Um, so yeah, I think that's why it's really important. It's yeah. because you get immersed into the experience of learning. And also, it's, it's the most accessible way of learning yeah. for me. <laughs> and it's fun and it's interesting and yeah. it gives you energy and yeah. makes the whole experience better. So 